So before I put my spark plugs in, I went ahead and tested them. Um, I uh, cranked this thing over, I turned on the battery, and, or uh, excuse me, I uh, hooked up the battery. I've got it hooked up now and I've just got it shoved back in the box there. Um, it ain't real pretty, I don't know if you can see that or not. The positive's in the back, the negative's up front here. And again, the negative runs down the grounds on the uh, gear case here. Uh, I kind of tidied up the wires a little bit. I hid the uh, that rear light. Uh, I uh, zip tied it along this loom uh, to hide that wire that goes back to the light. I still got it, uh, I just coiled it up. I don't have a light fixture for back here. Uh, not yet anyhow. Uh, and I don't know if I'll put one on here. So uh, I don't know, uh, we're just gonna have to see uh, for the time being, I went ahead and uh, just put a wire nut on it and uh, zip tied it to the spring, just keep it out of the way there. So that's how it's gonna be for a while. And the front lights, I just uh, put a wire nut on, on that wire to keep it, you know, cause it's gonna be hot if you turn on the light switch as well and stuck it in the little, uh, uh, little clip there that holds the wire. So uh, it's up out of the way of the, of the fan belts and everything. So that's as good as it's gonna be uh, until we get the hood put on and everything. But uh, in any case, now if you uh, turn on the light or turn on the switch here, you can see the voltmeter comes up and it's reading uh, about 12 volts. Um, and if you, let's see, there should be a rod um, that goes from this hole. I think it goes from this hole. No, it goes from this slot here. Uh, anyhow, the rod goes down uh, and attaches to, you can see I've got the little rocker. Um, I put the little rocker on here on the starter switch so that rod will go and makes a 90 degree bend comes through there and then it gets cotter key and when you pull on that rod it causes the tractor to crank so uh i did i cranked it over and i'm getting good spark on all four cylinders so i'm gonna put the hood on now uh mount everything on there bolt it all down and uh, then i'll be able to tidy up these wires i don't know exactly what i want to do with these until i get the hood on there so uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So uh, here I've got the hood standing up on end uh, where I can get to these headlights pretty easy. I'm also working on, as I'm working on electrical on this tractor, I'm replacing the uh, uh, sediment bowl uh, is bad on here too. So uh, the housing on the housing on it busted. So I'm putting on a, another used one I've got laying here. Anyhow, I got the hood sitting up here. I'll show you how to take these headlights apart. So there's a screw that goes through the bottom of this clamp, goes through one side and it threads into the other side and it cinches that clamp down on the housing. So you, you don't have to back the screw all the way out. I did just cause um, you know, I took the screw all the way out cause mine's all cruddy and nasty. I want to wire brush it before I put it back together. So anyhow, then that clamp, uh, you kind of spread it apart and it holds the lens, the weather strip, which is rotted in half here. Uh, it holds, that clamp holds the whole assembly together. So set that off to the side. I'll have to figure out something for weather strip, but these light bulbs, so I didn't even know if it had bulbs in it. It does. Uh, they're pushed down and turned and they only push like just a little bit, maybe an eighth of a turn and they come out. They've got a, a little brass prong there, another little brass prong there. They're directly across from each other and one little lead contact point. Um, these are not that hard to come by in a 12 volt version. So, if you don't have any of these, um, I probably I got a little stash of oddball lights and stuff. I might have some of these, um, but take this to your auto parts store and tell them that you want a 12 volt just like this, and there should be no problem getting that for you. Uh, then bring the new one back, stick it in, push down, turn just a little bit, and that's it. So uh, then you put your uh, put your lens and everything back on there. You got to work that ring around. Kind of, it's hard to do with one hand, and I know I'm gonna drop the damn thing. It's glass it's shattering. I'll never find another one. So, anyhow, put that back on. Put your screw back in there, and uh, that's it. Now, me, I'm gonna have to run new wiring for this thing. So, uh, I'll show you what I do with wires once I get it up on there. Okay, so here's an update I really didn't want to make. Um, I went to uh, put the hood on, and it's just. It's too close to the alternator. Um, when I did, I had the battery hooked up, you know, everything was energized. This is a hot wire when the battery's connected. So um, I'm wiggling the hood around and it started arcing against this post. So uh, I knew the alternator was questionable, you know, how close it was to the hood, but you know, if it's gonna, I think it was clearing, but just when I wiggled it, it, it touched. 
Um, I'd hate for somebody to be driving this tractor and, you know, hit a bump or something and the hood shift and, or the alternator shift something and, and start arcing. So that's just too close. So, uh, we're going to put a, a shorter fan belt on here. Uh, and the way that, uh, you, you can possibly do it is, uh, I think this is a 13 16th, uh, nut down here and you loosen this up and you loosen that up a few turns and then this side will start to loosen up. Um, work your, uh, you can loosen the whole assembly up and it just drops down in this fork, in this vertical thing here. The whole assembly drops down and you can possibly get your belts off by wiggling them up and over the top of the fan blades. But the fact that I'm gonna have to put a shorter belt on here, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to get a shorter belt on here. So I just went ahead and took the assembly apart. So you loosen that up, you take your nut and washer off this side, and that, that makes this whole assembly loose. Um, it's, this shroud then is in the way, and to make enough room, you take, there's four sheet metal screws that hold this shroud on, one up here and one down here, and the same thing on the other side. So then that shroud is loose. So you can kind of cram the shroud up, get the assembly off just enough to get that uh, bolt or stud or whatever the hell you want to call that shaft, to get it to clear here, and then you work your belt out and underneath of there. Uh, the belt's pretty short, so uh, it's gonna be even a shorter one that goes on it. So I'm gonna probably bring home a selection and see what, what fits best on there. Because this is getting so short now, I'm afraid that possibly I'm gonna run into problems where I'm gonna slide this over and um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that you know sliding it too far, if I get a real short belt, which I'd kinda like, because I can bring that that alternator way up in here. Uh, so if I get a real short belt, my bracket's too long. So I chopped off about a half inch off the end here, and I went ahead and drilled two more holes and wallered them out here, so my uh, slide portion there is about an inch longer than it was. Um, I may scrap this bracket all together and just build a shorter one, or I might, if I get a real short belt, I may have to hack off more of this end and I may just let that end run out as a forked end. So uh, we'll have to see after I get a belt on here. But uh, that's what's going on with this. Uh, once we do that, that uh, alternator is for sure going to clear the hood. It's going to be even tidier looking. It's going to hide up under there better. So, you know, uh, it's not something I really wanted to do, but, you know, it's something that should be done. So we're going to do it the right way. All right, guys. Uh, you know, I once took a test in high school. I think it was the first day of this class. Teacher hands out the test, front and back. Very first line on it says, read the whole test before you answer any questions. So what do you do? You just start right down the line, you start answering all the questions. You get to the back, you flip it over, the very last thing says, do not mark on this test, write your name on it, turn in this paper, do not mark on any of the questions. Of course, the whole damn class failed. You know, there's eraser marks and scratch marks all over it. That's what this video series is gonna turn into because if you paid attention when I made this bracket, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna hack this thing off and change it again. I just went out to Napa and picked up a belt that is gonna work real well for this. It shortened this, this throw up, I'm gonna guess about two inches. Uh, the belt that was on it, I measured it, was a half inch by 21. The belt that I got is half by 19. And that drew that alternator in, I'm gonna guess, it's probably pulled it in two inches. I mean, if you can remember this stud was pointing kinda on a 45 up here, now this stud is vertical. So with that, well, there you go. That hole down here is now gonna be up here where my thumbnail is. There's a little marker mark I just made on there. This bracket no longer has to be bent. So that's a big improvement. You know, if, if, uh, if I didn't spend all the time to bend this, that would have saved me a whole bunch of trouble. Um, so I marked, you know, mostly I just, I held this up here where it's about, I don't know, where it's about where I want it, almost about halfway in my, uh, in my slot down there. And then I marked, you know, where this hole is gonna fall. And I'm going to drill that. Again, this is a quarter inch hole on this end, you know, for this bolt, quarter inch hole. And I'm going to hack it off right at the bend. So this is now going to be a flat straight bar. So 
Hopefully you guys are watching all these videos before you start on this. I'm sorry if I led you astray to begin with, but now I think we're gonna be a lot happier with how this alternator mounts up under that hood. All right, so we got our uh, alternator remounted up there. Uh, belt looks real true on there. This again is my headlight wire. I just got it tucked out of the way here. Um, man, I'm telling you, that really, that pulled it in. And uh, I mean, heck, it's, it's hiding back behind the radiator now. So it is way tucked up under there. I am real happy with how that looks. Uh, I actually also went ahead and because it's so close to the coil, I pulled off this bottom bracket. I had everything else apart. I went ahead and pulled off this bottom bracket and hacked that off for length. So it's hard to see on the camera here, but there is clearance between that bracket and that coil, but it's awful close. And again, there is just barely clearance between that coil and that distributor. That's, it's real close, but it's there. So, uh, I mean, if it were an issue, a guy could put some washers up under the, the, uh, this big bracket here. You could shim that up with a couple of washers, bring that up, you know, if you were concerned about it, but I'm not, it looks real good. So I'm gonna stick the uh, hood on here and uh, we'll see how it looks.